DHEA stands for dehydroepiandrosterone, and it is a male hormone which represents um, the most abundant male hormone in all of our bodies, both women and men. And it serves as the substrate for all other male hormones. So all other male hormones are derived uh, from DHEA, uh, but also female hormones are derived from DHEA. Um, DHEA, as soon as it is ingested, very quickly converts uh, to other androgens, primarily testosterone. And testosterone is now known to be uh, of crucial importance for early stages of follicle maturation, right after follicles are recruited into maturation. Uh, at those stages, if uh, testosterone levels are low, the follicles don't progress uh, in their maturation, um, degenerate, die, or if they do progress, they are of poor quality. And so by giving DHA and raising uh, testosterone levels in women with low ovarian reserve, who usually have low testosterone levels, we are getting more eggs and better quality eggs. Uh, our interest in DHA is now approximately eight years old, uh, and uh, it was a coincidence that led us uh, into this research arena. It was one of our patients uh, who, uh, unbeknownst to us, used DHA uh, while going through a series of IVF cycles, and since she was older, we did not understand how come she was improving her egg numbers uh, to very dramatic extent until she, after a few cycles, came into my office smiling and told me I have to tell you a secret, and the secret was that she was taking DHA. Uh, so it was really that patient's doing that uh, got us interested in DHA and then led to a whole series of research projects uh, and publications from our center. Uh, we, in principle, use uh, DHA in women uh, who have low ovarian reserve, and that represents basically two patient groups. It is either older women, usually above age 40, who we pretty automatically now supplement with DHA, uh, and the second group of women with premature ovarian aging, also called by some colleagues occult primary ovarian insufficiency. Those are young women who at young ages, meaning under age 40, usually under age 38, uh, show low ovarian reserve for their age. They too are now known to have low androgen levels. In both of these patient populations, we supplement with DHA with the idea of raising the androgen, primarily the testosterone levels in these patients. And that's also what we monitor. We monitor in four weeks intervals the testosterone levels. Uh, they receive uh, 25 milligrams of uh, DHEA three times a day. That is standard treatment. Sometimes we adjust a little up, sometimes a little down, based on testosterone levels. And the goal is uh, to get the patients uh, with either free or total or ideally both testosterone free and total testosterone into the upper third of the normal range. Uh, that's where young people usually are, while as we get older, uh, testosterone levels significantly drop. Well, for the longest time, we had no idea how DHA was working, and then, uh, based on some animal work, and uh, based also on some clinical studies performed here at CHR, we started to understand uh, how we now believe DHA works, uh, and uh, we now believe uh, that uh, DHA uh, is converted to testosterone and the testosterone through the androgen receptor on granulosa cells, which are the cells that surround the egg, 
uh, at very early follicle growth stages, meaning right after the, uh, a follicle is recruited from its dormant stage, um, in those early f stages, androgens are very important for the growth of the follicle. Uh, and uh, the androgens work through the androgen receptor on granulosa cells. Uh, if the androgen levels are not uh, adequate, then uh, the androgen effect through those androgen receptors on the granulosa cells is inadequate and growth does not take place normally and that leads to many follicles dying off. They, in other words, do not continue in their maturation process and therefore patients have fewer eggs. Uh, and even those eggs that make it through uh, usually of relatively poor quality, and uh, that's reflected in higher chromosomal abnormality rates in eggs and embryos, more miscarriages, and lower pregnancy rates uh, in IVF. So DHA works in all of these uh, areas, uh, improves pregnancy rates, reduces miscarriage rates, uh, because it also reduces chromosomal abnormality rates. It improves, in other words, egg quality, and that's the basic improvement. Well, our advice is that even though DHA in the United States can be bought over the counter without prescription as a supplement, uh, women who want to take DHA for fertility purposes should not do it on their own. Uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, we feel that, especially if they are in treatment, they shouldn't do anything behind the back of the treating physician. Uh, secondly, it is a mistake to assume that uh, DHA in isolation alone uh, will do very much. I mean, we do see uh, an increase in spontaneous pregnancies in women who take DHA and if they have diminished ovarian reserve. Uh, but the spontaneous pregnancy chances are still very low. If uh, women really want the maximum effect from DHA, then it needs to be combined with an appropriate formal fertility uh, treatment approach. Uh, in most cases, in, not always, but in most cases involving uh, in vitro fertilization. And it should be done by a fertility specialist who knows how to use DHA because you can negate all the benefits of DHA by simply giving the patient the wrong ovarian stimulation in an IVF cycle afterwards. So you really need to know, like with any other medication, you need to know how to use it. Well, um, DHA is actually amazing in its distribution to the worldwide. I mean, I'm always amazed, especially when I travel around the world, uh, how widely it is used uh, all over the world already. Uh, considering uh, how long uh, ago we had no idea that DHA did anything. Uh, but it is true that some of our colleagues uh, still do not believe in it. Uh, you know, it takes a long time the literature suggests that uh, an effective treatment uh, takes anywhere between 10 and 12 years to trickle down. Some people are a little slower in changing their practice patterns than others. Uh, I think uh, anybody who really studies the literature at this point uh, would very quickly become convinced that uh, DHA is a highly useful a medication in women with low ovarian reserve uh, and I think everybody uh, who starts using it will instantly recognize uh, the effect so I'm not concerned I'm sure those colleagues who currently think otherwise will come around once they understand uh, that it is really working.